Hey guys, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to install any of my main stage logic products. I'm going to use the Ultimate Shimmer Pad collection as a reference product to do that, but obviously these principles and steps will work for any of my products. In this video, I'm just going to do a quick install process showing you where to drop everything and where all the patches are located in main stage and logic. So once you've downloaded everything, it should look something like this. Um, you'll get logic patches, you'll get main stage patches, you'll get a logic template, and you'll get a main stage template. You'll get multiple samples folders because Multitracks likes to split them up into smaller download sizes, but I suggest compiling them all into one folder like I've done here. Just makes it easier to work with, and obviously you'll get an install manual as well. Um, so the first thing we need to do is drop the samples and the sampler instruments, whoops, here we go, the sampler instruments into a specific location. Um, the sampler instruments are identical in these two, so you don't have to use both, just pick one of them and drop them in this location. So Macintosh hard drive, library, application support, logic, sampler instruments. So what I've done here is I've already created two folders and you can create folders by right mouse clicking, new folder, and then label it whatever you want. Um, I've got um, all my .exs files in this one. You don't have to label it like that. You can actually label it anything you want as long as it's in this location. So what I need to do is take the sampler instruments and drag and drop them into that location. Now I've already done that so I'm not going to do that again. The process is the same for the samples. Um, just drag all of these samples. There we go. I'm just holding shift to select all and then I've just labeled it um, Ultimate Shimmer Pad Collection samples. And you can see it's already there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, let's undo that. Um, so that's the location. There is a second location that you can drop them in, um, but I don't usually look at this location. But just in case, if you want to know the second location, it's Macintosh Hard Drive uses your computer name, obviously not mine, music, audio, music apps. And you can drop the sample instruments and samples in that location if you prefer. Okay, um, so once you've done that, the next thing to do is to drop the logic patches and the main stage patches in a specific location. And that location is Macintosh hard drive uses your username, music and patches. As you can see, I've already dropped them in here um, and I've uh, labeled them USPC short for Ultimate Shimmer Pad Collection, just so I can easily see the difference between that and other patches that I've dropped in here. Um, so that's pretty basic. You just select them and drop them in that location. Once you've done that, they'll show up in Logic and Main Stage. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you where they're gonna show up in Logic and Main Stage. So in Main Stage, they're gonna show up here. User Patches, and if you scroll down, you'll find them at the bottom there. And there's all the individual patches and the multi-patches. Um, in Logic, they're gonna be in this location. User Patches, main stage patches, and you'll find them at the bottom as well, Logic. Now you might be wondering, why do I have Logic patches and main stage patches? Aren't they the same? Well, they kind of are, but Logic imports multi patches slightly different to main stage. So I suggest using the Logic patches for Logic and the main stage patches for main stage. Um, so the only other thing that you may need to do um, is just open the EXS24 player. If it's not already there, you can just locate it right there and open this up and hit refresh menu. Um, if you don't do that, you may get a missing samples. Um, if you do get that, just do what I've just done there. Open it up, refresh menu, close logic and or main stage and then reopen it and everything should be fine. So there you go, that's the quick install video. Um, if you do have any other questions, uh, feel free to email us at support at multitracks.com.